Hello and welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and this time around we got some more mini mates to play with, and once again, they are more than meets the eye. Because today we are taking a look at Series 2 of Diamond Select's Transformers Mini Mates. Now, previously we looked at Wave 1, which included a few very, very cool characters. Here in Wave 2, we are getting some more exceptionally awesome ones, and to me, this is actually the Wave 2 get because this is the one that has characters that I particularly enjoy a lot. And I think this is probably more fan favorites than what we got in that first series. Granted, that first series was really, really cool because it included Optimus Prime, Starscream, Bumblebee, and Shockwave. But for my money, and especially as far as looking at toys, I would say Series 2 is a lot stronger because this time around, we're getting Grimlock, we're getting Blaster, we're getting Megatron, and we're getting, of course, everybody's favorite, Soundwave. So once again, we're getting two Autobots and we're getting two Decepticons. And really, it's just all around 100% awesomeness and nostalgic fun too. So hey, let's take a quick look at this packaging here and you guys can already see from the front of this, this is a Mini Mates four pack. Now, previously, Mini Mates were sold in two packs. It looks like the new way that they're doing this is gonna be all in four packs like we're seeing here or multi-packs of different varieties. It just seems to be a better way to do things, makes it easier to get everything. And it's the only way that they're trying to keep costs down because as we'll talk about later on, Minimates have gone up quite a lot of money in the last few years in particular, so really any little thing they can do to help keep the cost manageable, I will gladly accept. So yeah, front of the packaging here, nice blister packaging, really, really cool stuff here, but let's do a nice little rotation so you guys can see what's on the back of the box here. And again, really cool that it's this kind of very flat blister style packaging. Looks great if you're gonna be displaying and also keeps it very simple, very ergonomic for displaying, but also more so super easy to get them out of the pocket. Super easy to get them out of the package, I said. I was gonna say package. Super easy to get them out of the packaging, which is very much welcome. Collector friendly, not so much, but unfortunately that's kind of the name of the game of Mini Mates here. So let's take a look at this back now here and you guys can see we got some classic Transformers art on the top there with Megatron and Grimlock. And then we have, of course, images of all of our characters here, as well as a really short little bio about what the heck a Transformer is. And really, if you don't know what a Transformer is in the year 2022, uh, I question your life choices. So yeah, lets us know what's going on with these figures here. It tells us we have 12 points of articulation to look forward to, as well as interchangeable parts, because that is a really fun thing about these mini mates is that all the pieces are in fact swappable. Uh, and that's it, another, another real information here other than telling us to go to transformers.com, which I will not be going to anytime soon because, well, I'm filming a review right now. So uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be jumping on the web any minute, so. Yeah, that's our quick look at the packaging here. Uh, some really fun stuff, but you guys already know the game here. I'm not a mint on card collector, and chances are, neither are you, because if it was the case, then yeah, this video will be over. But no, video is not over, folks. We're gonna go ahead now, take these mini mates out of the packaging and get a closer look at them from all angles. All right, and here are our mini mates now out of the packaging. Here they are. They are adorable, aren't they? You know, I mean, mini mates are always just really fun to look at for me because I just like seeing all sorts of different characters squeezed down to this very, very tiny form. It's pretty cool looking, something I've always been a fan of. So speaking of here, just gonna have a ruler back here just so you guys get an idea of how tall they are precisely. And that is about two inches tall, more or less, give or take. It's uh, This ruler has like, for some reason, this bizarre gap on the front end of it. So yeah, take my word for it, they are two inches tall. So as I mentioned here in the series, we have starting on the left, Megatron. We have ourselves Grimlock, we got ourselves Blaster, and we have Soundwave. It is kind of fun they're putting basically those two characters together here. We're getting both of the Boombox characters in one wave. So. That's, that's kind of neat. Don't know why they did that, but hey, I don't mind it. So as far as the sculpt and the look of these guys go, I love Mini Mates in general. And Mini Mates, I would say, are probably a little bit of an acquired taste. Um, but in the case of the Autobots and the Decepticons, they translate surprisingly well into this Mini Mate format here. It might be the fact that those toys are, for the most part, fairly blocky figures. You know, there's a lot of really sharp right angles and all that sort of thing here. And that really lends itself to the look of these Mini Mates, you know, because Mini Mates, well, they're not quite Legos and they're definitely bigger than Legos, but they do have this kind of blockiness to them that, uh, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I think in the case of Transformers, it just is like amazing. I mean, this, this is like perfect. This is how they should look. This is definitely one of the most seamless transitions, I think, of action figure to mini mate format. So yeah, well done there, Diamond Select. And the details are really great too. I mean, there's all the correct little colors, all the little details are in there. I mean, from Megatron's chest piece over to the lines that are on Blaster's boombox section, even the little details that are on Soundwave. I mean, there's there's a lot of really cool little elements to these pieces here. Uh, and they're really adding a lot of the personality that you need to have in these toys. And really, they are capturing that 80s, early 90s feel of Transformers 
colors are there, the nice metallics are shining through in all these pieces. Basically, they're bright, they're colorful, there's a lot going on here, and they're all just looking really great. So, you know, I'm gonna turn these guys around real quick too. Let's take another look at the back of these guys as well, because, yeah, even the backs, such great little attention to detail, just little things, but the little things add up. And in the case of Minimates too, I mean, that's really where it is. That's where the action is, is in those little details and getting it in this miniaturized form here. So yeah, I think this is great. Uh, and it looks so much like the cartoon. You know, it's not like the toys because you can't really replicate those original toys in this size that easily. But you know, as far as it looking like a cartoon toy goes, like, yeah, they got that. They totally got this look, 100% accurate. Man, I just, I just like Minimates, you guys. Let's talk our articulation real quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and move some of these dudes out of the way. I'm gonna leave Blaster up here, I think, because he's probably the easiest one to move around right now. But let's talk articulation. And it might not be the easiest to see all the points of articulation that Blaster has, but take my word for it, he's got a pretty good amount here. I mean, as we saw the packaging, there's supposed to be 12 points here. So those 12 points include the head moving left to right. We've got ourselves shoulders that can move, surprisingly not that hindered by the armor piece here. Uh, we have very nice elbows. The wrists also are part of the articulation because those can rotate around. The waists, well, they should move. And you can see there is the cut, cut there to do that. Uh, not all of them are gonna have moving waists. I don't know if anybody in this wave in fact does uh, just because their armor pieces are so thick. So we are losing that point of articulation. Uh, the legs also move. We have knee joints that can move too. And uh, the ankles would have moved, but again, we have some little coverings on them here. So articulation's there. It's not like crazy good as it normally is in a mini mate, but it's there. And uh, by the way, you guys will probably notice by now that all the figures came with bases. That's part of their accessories. Every mini mate pretty much comes with a base at this point, which is wonderful. I think more toys in general should come with bases, but the mini mates have them. That's awesome. So I think it's time for us to go ahead now and start talking accessories because we talked about the base, that is an accessory. And since we have Blaster here, let's go ahead and give him, well, his Blaster because he comes with a Blaster too. I'm pretty sure this is his, uh, let's see, I'm trying to get this in his hand. Oh, okay, no, no, that fits actually really, really easily. So there you go. That is Blaster's Blaster in his hand. Looking very nice. And that's not all he comes with because he also comes with himself as a boombox? Okay. Yeah, no, he actually comes with his transform version. I think he's like the only one in this line to have that basically as a thing he can do. But yeah, Blaster comes with his, well, his blaster, uh, his boombox. So that's pretty cool. Let's get him out of the shot. Let's go ahead and bring in our king of the transformers, if you will. Let's go ahead and talk about Grimlock. And Grimlock also has two accessories. We've got, let's see if we can get this into this little dinosaur claws there. Oh my God, he does have little dinosaur claws, that's cute. Uh, he comes with another blaster as well. We'll try and get that in his hand, but it does seem to be a little hindered. Let's see if I can just slide it in. Yeah, okay. You can just slide it in from the front so you get that in there. And he also comes with his sword, which is very nice. It's really cool they included that sword in there too. And yeah, for the most part, I'm just basically sliding these things, as you saw right there. Uh, I'm just sliding them in from the front. So, whoops, that one just came out. Uh, there we go. Uh, in particular, Grimlock, he's having a little trouble holding that gun just because the gun is so big, but it is engineered to fit it. You guys can hopefully see it there. You know, it is engineered to basically go like flat up against his little paw here. So they've done their best to work within the confines and the, and the constraints, rather, of what the Transformer designs are. But hey, I mean, they got his gun going on, they got his sword as well, so he is ready to rule over the Dinobots. Wow, that's really cool here. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our leader of the Decepticons. Let's talk about Megatron here. So, well, Megatron already is basically a giant weapon because he has his cannon on his arm. But in addition to the arm cannon, Megatron also has his classic weapon. Well, there goes his arms. That's how the uh, articulation goes, by the way. So I'll show you guys that ball joint. You can see it right there. Uh, Let's go ahead, pop in one of his weapons here. He comes with this mace, which, snap that back into place. Comes with his mace, or flail, whatever you want to call it, whatever is accurate to call it. We got the Energon mace right there, which is very cool. Uh, I want to actually do a little test here, see if this works, because I remember that uh, it was basically part of his hand. So I think, looks like we can do it here too, right? Yes. And the fact that I can take his arm off makes it actually even easier. There we go. Yeah, okay you can in fact replace his hand with that Energon mace to get get it basically the way that it should look, get him ready for battle. And yeah, this Megatron here is leaning a little bit for some reason, not quite sure why he's doing that. Uh, it might just be the armor being a little funky. Oh, I'll work on that off camera for a later on shot, but there he is, he's got his little Energon mace. That is really, really cool. I'm so happy that you can actually do that and swap his hand out. Really great attention to detail. Now, last but not least, we have our final Decepticon in this wave. That would be 
Soundwave. And yeah, Soundwave does come with a little accessory as well. He unfortunately does not come with a boom box like Blaster does, which I feel like is a very much a missed opportunity, but he does come with his laser pistol as well, or Blaster, again, whatever you want to call it, I don't really know. Uh, let's see if we can get it to actually stay in his hand. So let's, maybe, maybe we need to rotate it. This one's just kind of sliding out of his hand. That's kind of funny. Maybe we can get it into this hand. Yep. Yeah. okay. For whatever reason, it's not going in his uh, hand over here. It's only going in this hand. Don't quite know why that is, but there it is. And, you know, again, talking about accuracy, the original toys and the cartoons, this basically is like similar to the gun that he had in toy form, just simplified and shrank down quite a lot. Uh, you know, it is missing a few details here and there, but the idea of it is there. You can tell that it's meant very much to resemble that original gun. I'll take it. I'll take it. This doesn't need to be 100% accurate. These are mini mates. These are meant to be real fun little representations of these characters. So we're not looking for 125% authenticity. We just need it to do enough of the job to let you know who it is, where they're from, and just give you that kind of quick boost of nostalgia. So that's our sound wave, and he is looking just as great as everybody else. So let's go ahead and get all the Series 2 figures back together and give you guys my final thoughts. So once again, I don't really have any complaints to say about any of these Transformers mini-mates. I don't think I had anything bad really to say about the first wave either. I think my main thing was just waiting for more characters to come out and well, here we go. We now have some more characters starting to come out here and they're all looking very, very good. Again, like I, I gotta tell you guys, and I think I said this in the first review as well, I don't remember if I did or didn't. I grew up watching Transformers and I kind of liked it as a cartoon, but it wasn't like my main cartoon that I was into. And to be quite honest, I wasn't super into the toys and I'll never understand why I wasn't like a giant Transformers toys fan. I think part of it was cause like, while I did enjoy the transforming gimmick, I didn't like that I couldn't really play with them the way I played with like my GI Joes. So that kind of turned me off. Like I liked a lot of articulation in my toys. Even back then I was an articulation snob. Uh, I liked all sorts of different accessories and, and just things like that. And basically the Transformers toys couldn't do that. Now we have though these mini mates and they're basically scratching that itch. They're also very small, which helps in my collection because now I can basically get the Transformers toys I want, but at a fraction of the size with great articulation, good accessories, interchangeability if I really want to do things differently. You know, we didn't really even go into that, but everybody's helmets that you're looking at right now is just passes by. All their helmets, all their armor, all these things, they all do come off. So you can basically mix and match and kind of kit bash your own Transformer if you want it. So, you know, I know Hasbro did their Transformers Red series, which I think is pretty much dead in the water now. Barely got off the ground. You know, I was interested in that lineup, but it kind of just sank a horrible death really quickly. Uh, and I wasn't too into those figures either, even though I really wanted to like them. The Mini Mates, I've always been a fan of those. You know, I always love Mini Mates. And the fact is I have a ton of them already in different other franchises. I mean, I've got all the Marvel ones. I have all sorts of other Mini Mates, different series, Ghostbusters even. Uh, and now I've got Transformers to go with them. So it's just really nice to having something super small, super easy to collect, not super hard to get either. And something that just looks really cool, makes me really happy. Now, the one thing that's gonna probably make you guys not so happy is the price tag on these Mini Mates. And the price of Mini Mates, as I alluded to earlier, has very much gone up, uh, especially in the last like year, two years. Uh, so what you're looking at right now, these guys are usually about 30 bucks for a pack of four. It's, it's a little bit of money for a lot of dudes, not gonna lie. It is a bit expensive for four characters. The reason for the cost going up, I couldn't really tell you. I think uh, we, we may have talked about it with Zach Goat from Diamond in one of our interviews with him, but it is something that Diamond is aware of. They know the price has gone up in general for plastic and that Mini Mates have gone up in price. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with actually the unique tooling of them also because you're looking at all these characters as they go by and they all have for the most part these different pieces to them costs money to do that. They're doing their best to kind of either, you know, keep the cost down or just give you more bang for the buck. It's a very tenuous balance, but Diamond is trying. So I'll give him credit for the fact that it really feels like they are trying and they're not giving us an inferior product at all here. I mean, you're getting what you pay for and that is some really high quality stuff here. So if you like Mini Mates, you're gonna love these. If you like Transformers, you're gonna love these. If you're not really a fan of either of those or more so if you're just not a fan of the Mini Mate styles, well then, frankly, this just isn't for you, unfortunately, but for me, I'm all about this, so I'm totally into these. And if you're into them too, why not go ahead and check out our Amazon affiliate link in the description below so that you can pick these up for your own collection. Using our Amazon affiliate link helps us out at no extra cost to you, so please, if you wanna buy them, consider using our links. So until next time, I'm Matthew, this is Nerd News Today, and that was our look at the Transformers Mini Mate Series 2 by Diamond Select, available right now. So stick around, we're gonna have more toy reviews and statue reviews coming to you very soon. So until next time, Nerd News Today fans, and Decepticons and Autobots too, why the heck not, transform and roll out.